All right. This uh, over 20-year-old iguana. Okay, this over 20-year-old iguana was presented to us yesterday. This is actually a classroom pet um, belonging to the teacher, which I'd like to personally thank her for giving these guys a little bit of that education about reptiles because most of these kids that come to here are scared to death of reptiles. Bunch of wusses is what they are. Anyway, having said that... <laughs> Uh, she was brought in for an appetence. Um, as soon as she walked in, the first thing I noticed was, well, here's not too bad, not the worst shape. We got this lump here, we have a lump here, and I think there may be some swelling between here, but this is dry, this is tail jerky. She couldn't feel this if her life depended on it. I mean, it's it's hard. I could beat somebody to death with that thing. Oh, what an idea. We could start the New Year's out right. Who would it be? <clears throat> My wife, who else? Anyway. Um, as you're looking at this here, you can actually see that hole there. There are some other holes off to the side over here. Uh, yeah, there's one there. Anyway, this thing is chock full of holes that look like they were put in there by something relatively biological. That one, and over here at the end of this one, the part's already dried, but you know, that's still to give you an idea of just how long this has been going on. So my guess is, I'm actually going to venture a guess, as many reptiles I've seen in this area and as many maggot cams and pus cams as you guys have seen with uh, with tortoises and stuff, I think this is one of those strange species where one of those maggots has somehow gotten into this guy. And uh, so anyway, to save this guy's life, we're probably going to have to amputate this lizard's tail about right here, which leaves us not much to work with. The cloaca is just beneath there. And be a, maybe some complications from the surgery, but in order to save this lizard's life, we're going to have to fix get this stuff out of there. And as soon as that's done, once the tail's gone, we'll be cutting into this and finding out what caused all this stuff. But uh, anyway, this will be a cool case. I, uh, <clears throat> I've been dreaming about this one since yesterday. Can't wait to get in there and see what's what's causing this this girl her problems. Hey, wake up! Wake up! Hi, baby. Wake up! Beautiful girl. Yes, she is. <laughs> It's been a very good lizard. Okay, that's it for now. One of those areas ruptured through here. A lot of fluid in there. Alright, we're not seeing any holes in this part of the lesion like we're seeing up here, so I haven't cut them there yet, but um, this is definitely an infection. Bad one. You can see all this is the, the rotten, the pus. Not cool. You can actually see a little bit in there. This is also some part of the infection here. Mm -hmm. 
But no, no maggots. But no we could predict that. Enough infection to go around, that's for sure. Mm-hmm. You <coughs> right now, thoughts are cancer or a complicated uh, cancer of osteomyelitis or just osteomyelitis, an infection. Anyway, uh, back to this guy here. There's a hole there. There's a hole there. Um, went in. I just finished taking a video of what's inside this area, that all that is an infection. Um, if you open that up, I decided to go to the next lump. There's one here. <clears throat> it's just basically an infection. And here, it's a, an older infection. Um, not as old as that part, but still pretty old. But notice this hole right there. If I can get this thing to focus. Dun dun. All right. I actually cut this away so you'd be able to see inside. Well, watch this. There's your hole. And that there looks like a dried chunk of infection. Because cancer is just not going to die like that. But uh, what I want you to notice is where the hole is. Right there, you can see the blue on my finger. You look right here. You can actually see where something chewed through the skin and hollowed, hollowed out that area right there. So that's pretty cool. Whatever it was, likes pus. Is he dead? No. (laughs) That's my wife. All the confidence she has in me. Oh, beaming today. (laughs) Anyway. My girl is already waking up, so I thought before I peeled this out of here, I would try. Mm. So there it is. It's just basically a large infection. That's an abscess. Did a maggot manage to make its way in through that hole? And holes like it, like that one, and that one. Ugh, poor, poor lizard. Alright. We're going to treat her for some antibiotics for a few days. Probably going to send a sample of this off for histopath and rule out cancer just in case it did get infected. And we will probably keep her over New Year's Day and then send her home soon. Alright, that's it. Alright, here is our uh, Iggy. What the hell am I trying to say? Alright, here's our Iggy two days post op. It's first thing. It's like another Monday morning now. And I have had a cup of coffee, so bear with me. Anyway, this is our uh, second day post-op. And yesterday was a holiday, so she probably would have gone home a little bit earlier. Other than that, she's actually doing very well today. Hey, what's up? What's up, my beautiful Iggy? So anyway, we had doing the surgery. That was a lot of uh, hemostasis to depend on. So we actually had to close it a little bit and leave those sutures in for about two weeks and then remove them. And then hopefully that will blossom out and leave a a lot more tail regeneration area. But for now, that's what we had to do to save this girl's life. But uh, anyway, so far so good. Uh, It looks like most of that tail was infection. We've sent off samples of a culture and sensitivity and also did some histopath to make sure that it wasn't a tumor that got infected. And uh, once we get all these answers, we'll know a little bit better on how to handle her case in the future. All right, other than that, so far so good. Later.